Yo, what's going on guys, Havoc here now, back! Today we have 50 more Clash of Clans facts. As promised, episode 2 of the series. Episode 3 may take a while simply because I don't want to include very stupid facts, I want to keep it very dank, you know? Just a reminder though, if you've been playing Clash of Clans for a very long time, this video may not be for you. After all, if you consider yourself a Clash of Clans OG, you probably know it all, so just a heads up. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's do this. Walls once had a build time, but required no builder. This was later changed so that they had no build time, but required a free builder. During the tutorial, the versus battle is introduced by attacking Master Jimmy from the clan The Order. This is just a fictitious enemy and not a real online player. The clan name is a reference to the clan The Order, which is known to be the first clan to ever exist in the game. He used four sneaky archers, two cannon carts, and a dropship. Although it is impossible to unlock both the cannon cart and the dropship because of his builder hall level. When added, the Inferno Tower only had single target mode. The total upgrade time for the Arctic Queen to get to level 1 to 75 is 396 days, not including the time it takes to get resources. The Grand Warden looked way different in its release. It was later remodeled entirely. The Builder has gone through 5 changes for special events. These were of course, temporary. Originally, a second guard post was planned for Builder Hall 7 but has since been removed entirely. The multi-mortar shells only shoot out of one barrel as opposed to all four barrels. Which begs the question, why does it have more barrels if it only uses one? <laughs> I don't know. Mathematically speaking, to completely destroy a building, it would take 137,257 level 1 earthquake spells. As the level goes on, it decreases. Still, this is an insane amount of earthquake spells. That just shows you how much it takes compared to destroying walls. The rage spell's name in the game files is Haste. The Haste spell's name is called Speed Up. Prior to the December 2014 update, a healer in a defensive clan castle would heal damaged buildings. This is obviously no longer true. She will now only heal heroes and other clan castle troops when defending. When unarmed, the air bomb appears to have three deflated balloons, despite only having two balloons when armed. During the Hogrider's rise in fame from March 2014 to December of 2016, the giant bomb did 1.5 times more damage to them. The game is banned in a couple countries including Iran and Vietnam due to local laws with violent games and gambling. Clash of Clans was made specifically for tablets and then scaled down to fit on a phone, not the other way around. ClashCon was only hosted once in Helsinki back in 2015. They had plans for another one in 2016 taking place in Los Angeles, but it was cancelled so they could focus a lot more on the game. The 2012 Christmas tree was the first special obstacle ever to be added in the game. If you switch your game to Chinese language, the air defense is referred to as the anti-air rockets. At launch, cancelling an upgrade gave you 100% of the resources used back to you. You used to be able to sell any building except your town hall and your base. Before May of 2017, you had to tap on every individual collector building to collect the loot from them. Now you only have to tap on one of them. The elixir collector sound was changed. The laboratory contains 4 entryways instead of the 2 you can actually see. You can actually see them in the back where the arches for the entryway stand. The total time to max out all troops is 4 years, 73 days, and 18 hours, meaning the laboratory is one of the hardest buildings to max in the entire game. Maybe that's why people rush their laboratory. I don't blame them. You can hide elixir by simply queuing up an army and spells. This is only useful if you're trying to protect as much of your resources as possible. When a player upgrades to Town Hall 10, a set of barrels and a sign will appear in place of the barrel, signifying that you will unlock super troops very soon. The Lava Launcher is the only upgradable building to have levels where there isn't any visual difference. In participation with Apple and Red, 
and the fight for an 8 free generation, they often offer packs with special temporary visual changes. I believe the first one was seen all the way back in 2014 or 2015. Level 14 walls have the largest amount of hit points in the entire game, coming in at 11,500 hit points. The Tornado Trap is the only trap that originated from a Clash Royale card. The phrase, harder, better, faster, and stronger, is a reference to the French dance duo Daft Punk's widely known song, Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger. If you've heard that song before, it's probably obvious, but if you haven't, then the more you know. The dragon drops a skeleton in human shape when he dies, even though he's not a... Okay, never mind. I don't understand what's going on in this game. The level 6 Barbarian's helmet greatly resembles the Iron Helmet from The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. It is also the one worn by the last Dragonborn in Skyrim's trailer. A question was posted on the Supercell forum about what auto stands for, and Darian, the community manager for Supercell, replied with Organizational Tidying Trimmer Organizer. Orbital tedium tending order. You know what? Let me just put it on the screen because I I can't even read. <laughs> this is what it was. Okay. I'm not sure if it was a joke, but I mean, yeah. Oddly, the two bot goblins spawn during the tutorial. Ignore your gold mines and go straight for your cannon, even though their purpose in the game is to collect loot. Rage Barbarians are said to be raged because they lost their swords, which is also the reason for them using axes instead. This is obviously a reference to the Lumberjack in Clash Royale. The Pirate Warden skin is based off the Barbary Pirates according to a post by Darian, the Supercell community manager. The skeletons spawned from the skeleton spell are actually guards from Clash Royale. Of course, if you play Clash Royale, this one is a no-brainer. But if you don't play Clash Royale, then there you go. Clash of Clans had the most viewed Super Bowl ad in 2015, featuring Liam Neeson. The fuse on the bomb seems to always be lit, but it never actually burns up or blows up. Why? I don't know. Spells used to cause gold. When the baby dragon disappears upon death or at the end of a battle, it explodes into dark elixir, although it is trained using regular elixir. For a 2015 April Fool's prank, Supercell said that gem boxes would be affected by lightning spells. There was once a glitch that made the Inferno Dragon appear to have no shadow. According to ClashOfClans.com though, the official Clash of Clans website, the headhunter may have stolen the shadow. So was it a glitch or was it a conspiracy? The golem used to take 45 minutes to train. This was later reduced to 15 then 10, and then finally 5. Jeez, imagine using Go Wipe in 2013. The housing spaces of army camps are calculated jointly rather than individually. For example, if a player who has 4 level 6 army camps will be able to hold 10 dragons, even though each individual army camp has 50 housing space. As a result, 2 of the 4 army camps will appear to have 3 dragons, although they can't technically hold it. At its initial release, Hog Riders did not have any preferred target. They would simply attack whatever was in front of them. When you are doing the tutorial, a villager mentions the reinforcement wizards of Ivory Tower. However, Ivory Tower is not mentioned again in the future. This could, however, be a reference to the Wizard Tower. On June 26, 2017, the Clock Tower's boost duration was reduced by 50% because it gave players too big of an advantage in upgrade times. I guess it was just too good of a deal. So guys, that is pretty much it for these 50 more facts about Clash of Clans. Let me know if I missed any important ones that you want me to mention in part 3. Like I said, that one might take a little bit longer because I have to find these facts and I don't want to include very obvious ones. So yeah. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace!